In honor of spring and Mother's Day, we're going to make a wicked cool Tinkercad flower. So let's get cracking. You can find Tinkercad at Tinkercad.com. I simply choose sign in with Google. This is where it starts out. Today, we're going to simply click create brand new 3D design. The first thing I like to do with a project is name it. I'm going to put this flower and I'm going to put 25 after it. To build in Tinkercad, we drag out parts, put them on the work plane, and then we can add more parts. Because of cruising, they stack on top of each other. It's super simple, and it can also be a ton of fun. Today, we're going to use the brand new sketch tool. Now, when I bring this out, I want you to see that it is a 20 by 20 part. So notice I'm setting it right at the center of a 20 by 20 grid. Not essential, but it makes it easier because everything lines up afterwards. Now we're going to make a flower petal using these sketch tools. There are lines and there are bezier curves. We are going to use the line tool and right here is zero, zero. I'm going to move over to up to and click to start creating my design. Notice it tells me the measurements as I build. This is super slick. So I'm going to go out three millimeters. And then I'm going to go up to the next centimeter and the centimeter after that. I don't care about the 18 number. I'm just explaining to you how it works. Then I'm going to go on this one and I'm going to go halfway up. You can be a little bit off on that. It doesn't matter. Connect this. And then I want this to match, but check it out. I don't have to be perfect this time. I can click and set it down. And then when I'm done with the shape, I can double click to get in it. And I can adjust these points. So if I zoom in here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And on this side, we've got six. So I can just grab that and snap it where we want. I can also get rid of this one. This is the add remove points. You can also use the number four to get there. And when we click on it, it's gone. Now we do need to switch back. If you click again, it'll delete the other points. Of course, if you accidentally do get rid of that point, I'll show you real quick. There's my number four and my accidental deletion. I can do control Z to bring it back. Now I want this to look like a flower petal. So I'm gonna switch back to the selection tool. And when we double click it, check it out, it gets round. It becomes round like a flower. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. And then I'm gonna take this and make it thinner. And we want a duplicate exactly across from it. We're gonna do that with control D, shift nudge. And then we're gonna use the sweet mirror tool to flip it just like this. I'm gonna grab the entire project and I'm gonna make it skinnier. I want it to be about a centimeter now. And then I'm gonna take those two and do control G to group them. Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna rotate using the inside handle. So these are gonna overlap. You can see that's 22 and a half degrees. When I let go, I'm not gonna touch anything else with my mouse. And I'm just gonna do control D again and again and again to make a wicked cool flower. Now you can make this more colorful by clicking on them and picking the colors you want for each petal. It's also gonna show you something called Z fighting where it'll actually flicker when we're done. You can choose custom colors. I like to get some sort of blue. Now as I zoom in, then when we right click and orbit with the mouse, you get the awesome Z fighting where the parts connect. How cool is that? I'm gonna move this one to the side. So I'm just grabbing it and I'm gonna move it away. And let's do one more. Once again, bringing it out, I'm setting it on the 20 by 20 grid. And this time, we're gonna do the same technique, but we're gonna make a gap in the middle. So I'm gonna click one millimeter away, and then two millimeters away. I'm gonna make this one thinner right from the get-go. And I'm just picking fun numbers this time. I'm not being precise. But I'm doing the same on each side. Don't forget when we're finished, we can double check it. And this one I'm coming back up through after I'm done. So this petal will be thinner. Notice I missed that one. Once again, no big deal. We can go back and double click and we can edit to get these so they line up exactly the way we wanted. All right, so now I've got that. So they look the same or the same-ish on both sides. And I'm gonna leave this one with the straight lines, but I do wanna make the top ones round. So double click on the lines and bingo, it curves them. 
You can do it as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. I'm gonna, of course, look at it from an angle. You can do that easily with the view cube or right click your mouse. I'm gonna pick a fun color. And let's repeat that trick one more time. I'll move it down so they don't collide with each other. Once again, it's control D, shift nudge, and flip so that it's aimed the other way. Pick the gap that you want. I'm gonna make a bigger gap this time. I'm not gonna group them this time. I'm just gonna do control D and rotate. I'm gonna pick a number that goes into 360 degrees. Notice 20 does that. And then I'm gonna do control D again and again and again. And just like that, another fantastic flower. Of course, if you wanna make them look like flowers, we can stand them up like that. I'm gonna grab the entire flower and do control G, so that way it stays together. And do control shift up to raise it up in the air. I'll grab this one and raise it up too. Once again, look at it from an angle. And when we rotate, if we come out all the way, it's one degree at a time. If you stay inside, it's 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you hold down shift, it's 45 degrees at a time. Once again, control shift up to raise it up. Of course, you can also grab them simply with the cone and lift them to the height you want. And let's customize this for mom. You could bring out this text and you could add a message. You can also click up here. And if you type script, there is an awesome script font that you can bring out as well. Once you've got the font out here, there are other options you can play with. I've also got a tutorial where you can add your own fonts. I'll put that up above. I'm going to change the words to say, I love you. Of course, pick a cooler color. Rotate it so it's aimed the way I want. Let's do D for drop. I'll do Control D. And I'm going to make one that says Happy Mother's Day. I'll raise that up either with the cone or Control Shift up. And I want that one to be looking straight. And let's quickly make a stem. Once again, I'm going to go back to the sweet new sketch tool. I'm going to drop that as close as I can to the 20 by 20 since I'm a long ways away. And I'm going to back out and we're going to draw our stem once again using sketch. This time I'm going to hit Bezier Curves. I'm going to make it two millimeters wide and I'm going to click. And because I've got that curve, I can click, hold and bend so that the stem's got a twist. That time I just clicked and left it. I'm going to click and leave it. Now up here, I'm going to click, hold and bend to make my stem look pretty cool. Notice when it's done, I can let go, and then we can click on it and adjust it. To make a smooth curve, you would switch to that. I don't want that, I want it broken, so I'm gonna go back to the broken lines, and that means we can take this one and make it so it's straight, and I can take this one and adjust it independently. I'm gonna also add a leaf to this, we're gonna do that by clicking to shut that one off and clicking P for pen to make a leaf. Once again, I'm gonna press the number two to make it so it's a Bezier curve mode and I'm gonna click and hold to make it look like a leaf. Click and hold to finish it like a leaf. I want one on the other side as well and then I'll connect these in a minute. Once again, click outside to finish that mode, press P for pen, click to start a leaf, hit the number two to switch to curve mode, give it a little bit of a bend, click and hold to finish the bend. Of course, once you're done, you can double click on it to edit those however you want. Notice this has the connected mode. I probably wanna switch it to the broken mode, which is the number three, so I can make that look like the leaf I want. Once complete, you can drag it into place until you are 100% happy with what you created. I'm gonna switch this one back to the number three, so that way I can give it that custom shape that I want. Let's hit finish sketch. Of course, I wanna make those green and skinny. There's the skinny part, and there's the green part. Let's click on it and stand it up. Don't forget that sweet shift rotate to do 90 degrees in an instant. D to drop, and let's move them into place. Flower one and control D, flower two. Here's a quick hack for lining them up. If you switch to flat view and switch to the top mode, you can easily pick those two and choose L for a line 
and align them just like that. This one I already had perfect, but I can still grab it. Notice I did get a node fails to load. That's because of how many pieces there are. I'm going to just grab it again. Once again, L for align, and I want them to be aligned to the middle. I can also take this flower and move it up with the arrow keys so it lines up with the other flower. Maybe even give it a little bit of a custom rotation. Notice when I move out here, it is one degree at a time. Back to perspective mode. Let's look at it from that front edge. Let's look at it from the front edge and then we can orbit it to a custom spot. A super fun Mother's Day project. Let me show you how you can share it with mom. So step one for sharing is to always get rid of the grid. That makes it cleaner for everybody to see. I'm going to keep the shadows and I'm going to pick a pink background color. That looks pretty sweet to me. And then here's how we make it public. Go back to the Tinkercad dashboard. Click on the gear for the project's properties. Of course, give it a name. Mine's going to be the Mother's Day tutorial. Of course, in a moment, I will put the tutorial in the description. This is where you could write your mom a cool note, add some tags. If you put HLMT23, I check that tag every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction and then finally make it public. Once you do that, you can leave it to share a like or you can switch to attribution no derivatives if you just want people to look at your project instead of copying it. I'm going to click Save Changes, and then when you click right here, this is the link you can share with your mom so she can see what you made. I also want to highlight that if she clicks View in 3D, even if she's never worked in Tinkercad before, she can check out the entire project from every angle, even the amazing Z fighting effect. How awesome is that? And of course, if you tag it with HLMT23, I will check it out and give you a reaction as well. As I wrap up, friends, let's highlight the skills. First, there is the sketch tool. I've got many more tutorials. I'll have links to them up above. I also love using duplicate and repeat. And of course, don't forget, there's never a bad time to celebrate your mother. I do want to quickly say thank you to everybody that's chosen a YouTube membership. There are three levels of perks, so you can check those out to find the one that fits you. I also want to say thanks to everybody that's joined my Patreon. Absolutely love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, of course, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.